Hello, good evening, welcome. Um, firstly, a couple of apologies. Um, been absent the last two weeks, and then there was a notification for me going live on Saturday, um, which was one that I'd set up and then deleted. Don't know what happened there. So sorry for those that were waiting. Um, I was at Polo. Um, the other apology is tonight is going to be a bit bitty. Um, I've been trying some stuff in the workshop today, um, ready for some IRDs that I've got booked up. Um, so to get from one end of the workshop to the other, I have to crawl under something. But we'll we'll get there. Um, earworms, let's bring in the boys. So, hiding in the background, we have the wood wizard himself, Mr. Wayne. The, good evening. The guy, the guy that claims to be a good scroller because he cut himself whilst turning, Mr. JP Woodwork. How you doing? <laughs> and a go compare insurance man, <laughs> Huey. Hello, Welcome mate. <laughs> so these lads are going to be looking after you. <clears throat> right, let's pop them back in the background and let's try this new camera. Oh, thank God you did that. <laughs> that one in the bottom corner was scary, me. What, me? <laughs> and I don't mean Wayne. Oh, no, I don't want that one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that only leaves me. You're in the top corner, Jamie. Jesus. So, there we go. What are we do? You're jerking, man. Yeah, jerking. So, two weeks ago, we turned the base of the solitaire board out of a piece of ash. Um, I said I was going to do another one. Because we were going to do a couple of different designs. Um, so, there's the other one. I have already, as you can see, it's got loads of holes. Um, I've pre-drilled that, but I have realised I've missed one, so we'll need to do that as well. Um, so the first thing I need to do is, for the one with all the holes, that's not using marbles, that's using these little figures. Um, I don't know where you can see that. Why would um, you use your balls? <laughs> so, I cheated with these, I didn't have time to turn them, um, so these were from Wish. Um, I tried using the spirit stains, but I'm not happy with how they've come out. So I'll just give them a quick blast of spray paint um, while the boys let me know who's in. Right, who's starting? Do you want me to read? Yeah, please, Shug. My, my thing doesn't go all the way back to the beginning. No problem. Right, well, obviously we've got Scott in because he's the first one, aren't you? Uh, we've got Wood Wizardry by Colin. Andy H is for turning. Gerard the French Turner. Um, let's go down a bit further. Peter Corcoran. Uh, Ian Leonard. Robert Dolman. Tony Smith. John N. Wavy Workshop. Hodgepodge Woodworks. Mark the Gentleman Turner. Ruben. Uh, Hello, everybody. Dave's Creative Metalwork Mewitt. <coughs> Mr. Mewitt, how are you? Uh, Richard Phelan. Jason Wheeler. Jigsy Shed. Oh, that Huey Lyons arts in here again. Oh, not him. He always like a bad oh, smell. not him. Do you want me to boot him, Scott? <laughs> Kicks nah, leave, like him. A bad leave, smell, leave him there. Point. Leave him there. So we are wood turning, <laughs> and I think we're up to date. Cool. So what I did earlier is, um, you may remember when I did this, I uh, downloaded instructions off, uh, I think it was called Instructables or something. Didn't quite work. Um, so I got a trusty marble. Now I found them, um, and I marked it out. I put a line down the middle and across uh, at 90 degrees and then I've measured 30 mil either side um, and with the points where they cross is where we're going to put the indent for the marble. Um, we're going to do that 
with, better bring this person in. Uh, we're going to do that uh, with a piece on the drill. Why am I getting an echo? Let's mute him. Right. <laughs> so. I don't know. Can you see that all right? Uh, no, you're on the original picture still. <clears throat> Peter Hoyton as well. <clears throat> uh, Keith's in. in. Well. Spot on. <laughs> Jigsy, just when I thought the kids were asleep, one is standing at the top of the stairs. Aren't they Hopeful, all hopefully not asleep. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Scott, you've got no microphones on now by the look of it, mate. You've muted on both. I want that one. I want that one. That's it. Uh, where's my mobile cam? That's who we want, Big. We don't want me. Right, there we go. That's better. <laughs> so, on the drill press, I've just got a half round router pit. The reason I'm using the drill press and not the router is because I can um, mark out the depth to get them all the same. Um, so over on the side of the press, I've put a bit of masking tape so we can do that. Now, obviously, if you're going to do one of these um, and you haven't got the instructions, at the end of the day, it's just a basic plate with a rim around the side um, you don't have to have 30 mil between your lines um, when I first did a template uh, 20 would have done but I thought it was a little bit close together um, to be able to pick the marbles up and move them around right Gerard's just asked there uh, to shug are you reading Wikipedia every night before going to bed to be ready for tomorrow night? Gerard, we don't need that. Shug and I have already got our answers for tomorrow night. <clears throat> yeah, I can officially tell you we haven't cheated, but we have got the answers now. How about that? Hey. It's all Captain Tom tomorrow night, isn't it? Ground control. Well, no, it's not. No, it, it's not Captain Tom. I suggested to them. Um, seeing as how um, Terry or Chestnut had done the, the 100 challenge for Captain Tom, uh, I suggested doing something similar. So I think basically what they've got tomorrow night is 100 questions. Okay. Didn't want that to happen. Right, Robert's asking, what speed is the drill press set at? Uh, highest uh, RPM since it's meant for a router? Question. I don't know. It's the uh, setting that it come at, um, and I do everything at the same setting because where I've put it on my bench, uh, it's that close to the roof. I can't get the flap open to change it. And really, for, for the type of work you're doing, Scott, it doesn't necessarily have to go at router speed anyway. It's just nice and slow. Um, the main thing is to hold it steady. Um, and I slipped on one of them, so it's ripped it a little bit. Okay. Jigsy oh, said um, a question for, for me and Shug. Are they the right answers? And um, uh, Mark, 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 Mark. With Mark. <laughs> <laughs> and Mark has come in and said, I don't know, isn't an answer we in long? <laughs> well, actually, it is, Mark. It's as you, but it's not as right you will, one. as you will find out tomorrow night. <laughs> right. 
So what I now need to do, actually, uh, while we've got it on the John drill S press, has just come in. Hi, John. While Hi, we've John. got it on the drill press, we'll drill that other hole because I'm going to have to move the camera <coughs> so you can get a decent view on the lake. What's happened to Jamie? Is, uh... Are you there, Jamie? Yes, I've just realised I'm muted. <laughs> I was going to say, I thought he might have been having a little sleep. <laughs> So, uh, so what? What Mark just said is along the same lines as uh, what my mum used to say is: uh, "There's no such thing as can't." <laughs> right. I'm gonna say, "Turn that Chuck key out, good lad." <laughs> yeah, Bur Barry Chitty's just come in. Hi, Barry. Hello, Barry. Hi, Barry. Uh, All right. John then has put from one John to another. Hello, uh, my name's Jamie. But hello, either anyway. <laughs> yeah, but that's John N <laughs> saying to John N. What What do you like, Jamie? You know what I mean? Just you know, conversation. Um, Lionel's just I'm coming. Is PG. Good evening, Lionel. Hi, Lionel. And David Mikkel. <clears throat> right. So this is just a six and a half mil bit on there, because I'm using six mil dowel. I've done a six and a half mil hole just so it's easy to move the bit about. Right. Mm -hmm. Let's make you all sick for a minute. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, I thought I thought he was going to take a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> Douglas Mungham's in. How you doing, Douglas? Hello, Douglas. Good Douglas. I moved a couple of my normal cameras onto the rig so I can play for the IRD. Um, and then realised I've not got enough cameras. You can play for the IRD. Is that the um, is that the polo team you support, Scott? No. So uh, <laughs> North London Woodturners have booked me for a <laughs> demo. Right. How's that? We can see that. Luckily enough, he's not doing any turning. What, at the demo? Yeah. Yeah, I am. <laughs> right. I thought you were talking about... You, you, put in the th you put in the thing you were talking about the AWGB. I am. I'm doing a... Talking about the AWGB, and I am turning a pepper mill. Oh, yeah. It's, it's that, oh, yeah, moment. Because that's what they want. So... <coughs> I don't know how well that's coming up. I've slipped there uh, and I've slipped over there. But this one's for home. Um, my son has already put a claim to it, so it doesn't really matter. So what I'm going to use to sand the bottom of the holes is I've just got a nylon brush. Um, these come from Screwfix or Tool Station. Um, and it's the same as what I use when I do texture work. All I can say now, roundabout right now, Dan would say, if it was me for Yadrelli. <laughs> <laughs> and as you can still see, there's still some pencil lines on there. Um, Wendy's still... come in, but she might be in and out because she's messing about with her phone, I think. No, you don't. No, no. Hello, Wendy. Good evening, no. Wendy. Uh, Wendy, how so, you doing? While, while, I've, uh, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to take a moment to quickly plug the virtual craft festival. Yes, mate. Uh, free. Coming up on May the 29th, starting at 10 a.m. in the UK over on my channel. Then I pass it over to Nick the Flaming Turner. Um, and then it goes over to Scott the Blue Light Tumbler. Um, are you watching now? 
And then it goes to Dale Kirkwood over at Maple Tree Studios. Then it goes over to Al oh, Shack. Then it goes to Heidi Jacobs of Whitehall Pottery. Then it goes to Mr. Stuart Farini. Then it goes to Pam Harris of Highland Boxes. Then it goes over to Kez of from Spirit and Bear. Then uh, Cam uh, Cameron Porter from Cammy's Garage or Garage. Then it goes to uh, the Wood Jedi himself, Mr. Wayne the Wood Turner. That'll then be me. Goes, then it that'll be you. <laughs> uh, then it goes over to the guys, the uh, Art of Fire guys that do the glass blowing and all that good stuff. Then it goes over to the Troublesome Freesome, uh, which will be Franco, Andy, and Chris Q for another uh, sh cooking shenanigans. Then it goes over to Daryl Jones of Dreadnought Woodshop. Then it goes to uh, Jake Thompson for all your resin casting and resin casting accessories. <laughs> uh, and then it goes over to uh, Cole Jacobson to end up the show. So that's 16 hours of uh, crafting throughout the day. Excellent, so, excellent. Uh, the deal's already started putting the run list up on the, the Virtual Crafty yeah. YouTube channel. Yep. Yeah. Right. So to go straight Welcome. to that, you can go to virtuallycrafty.com and it'll take you straight to the playlist. So there'll be more more people being added as it uh, as it gets as they all uh, send me their links. Malcolm Douglas has just come in, and somebody else did as well, I think. Right. Let's clean that off. <coughs> I don't want to see all the dust. <coughs> Wood turning by Barry's in. <coughs> that was it. That was the other one. That was the one, yeah. Just just yeah. scratching back to them to see. Um, in reply to Wendy earlier on, hi, Wendy. She says she's changing the Sims. I didn't even know you played that computer game, Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> what on earth are you changing them into? Is, is, is Sims still going? <laughs> yeah. Probably. Yeah, it's still going. <laughs> It's a bit like Call of Duty, I think, you know, it'd still be going on and on and on and on. on. <laughs> At least they stop yeah. the getaway. A bit like the old Ariston advert. Ariston <laughs> and on and on. And on. <laughs> 50 <laughs> million. <laughs> bit of chestnuts, uh, acrylic sanding sealer. Oh, everyone's a freaking oh. nutcase. You know when you've been tangoed. <laughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, there was that other one with the bongo drums. Trio. Umbongo. Umbongo. Living in the Congo. Umbongo. Right, you've got 43 in at the minute, Scott. Fantastic. Thank you, everyone, for coming in. So we're going to... Um, we're going to scrape the bottom of the Yorkshire grip tin. Um, Scott? Yes, mate. Ruben, Ruben's just raised a very valid point. He said, uh, looks great, Scott, but you should forget his balls and turn your own. Oh, sorry, marbles. Sorry, <laughs> mate, marbles. I thought, he said, I thought he said my balls. <laughs> yeah, you could turn your own. Um, I know Jason Breach does a solitaire board. Um and he uses 36 different woods to make the balls. Ooh. Scott's got to find these marbles first. I've got my marbles, mate. I've got all different colours. I lost mine. Well, I thought I'd lost yeah. mine, Huey. That's I'll... where the idea come from. I found them in a bucket, mate. <laughs> I lost mine years ago. <clears throat> exactly, Wayne. We've lost that, that, mate. Does that make you a lost boy? Oh, well, could do. Makes me, makes me lost marble. <laughs> John Scarborough's in. Hi, John. Hi, John. Hello, John. And Dave's creative metal workers just give us a little insight. He said, you never had any. <laughs> <laughs> I presume that's marbles. He's nice. Yeah, he? I'm presuming that as well. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're best mates like him. Who needs enemies? <laughs> I think he was talking no, about I'm, yourself. Oh, no, he was talking about you. Yeah, he was talking about me. And we're meant to be doing a collab. Huey, you and Dave need to meet up. Dave does all, uh, uses horseshoes and scrap metal and 
worlds together. I, I, He's only on Insta. I have got me a, a rather large uh, farrier's bucket full of uh, horseshoes, and I, I do keep toying with the idea of doing something with them. Mate, cut the other day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see something happening at some point. Make yourself a pair of shoes. Yeah, that'd be good, wouldn't it? <laughs> Nay, it wouldn't. I'm a stallion, baby. <laughs> so we'll work this in for three minutes, as that's the suggested time. Have you got a new tin there as well, Scott, or not? Nope. Well, I think, uh, can I suggest you get on to, to Glyn? I sent Glyn a message this afternoon going, All right. Okay. Glyn, help. <laughs> Especially as I got next week. Otherwise, I'm going to be with a paintbrush poking out of the product saver. I thought Glyn would have used any excuse to get on his bike and bring it down. Kettle's yeah. always on, mate. He's welcome here anytime. <clears throat> so we get a bit of tissue. Crank up the speed a little bit. Pump up the volume, pump up the volume. How do you do? It's a tissue. Got a lump of grit on your shoe. Oh, oh Charlie Drake's on again. Tissues with issues. I'm a gnu. A <laughs> gnu. <laughs> <laughs> a gnu. A gnu. <laughs> well, I think you should do that. Well, I'm gnu. He knows a song about fish. <laughs> I'm not going to sing it here, though. <laughs> Is that the one with souls? Yeah, that one. <laughs> yeah, it's not after nine o'clock. Who's your souls? No, our souls. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> hey, these lives are not for, you know, these are about having a bit of fun. Having a laugh, having a joke. Guys. Close your ears. <laughs> Just make sure that all the grits at the bottom of them dimples. Cool. And then we, because it's going to be used um, and handled, we're going to go with. <clears throat> Some chestnut microcrystalline wax. Ooh. Uvavu. Iranu. This makes Iranu sure that we get indeed, right in the Jamie bottom. Page. <laughs> Douglas Mullen says, keep taking the pills, guys. It's great. Uh, the reason why this is happening is we seem to have forgotten the pills. We've run out. I think so, yeah. <laughs> That's the first... Do you know what? I got back this morning and the missus looked at me and she went, did you forget something? I went, no, I emptied the room. She went, no, I mean, did you forget to take something with you? I went, no, got by. <laughs> she went, what about your pill pot? Oh, yeah, forgot about them. <laughs> <laughs> what else is it you got to do to that then, Scott? Put marbles on it in a minute. Is that it? Yep, and then we'll finish the other one. Hey. Oh, so you have got another one to do then. I was going to say, it's going to be a short live otherwise. No, no Jamie, you did say it was going to be a bit bitty. Bitty now. Bit bitty. Isn't it a pity that it's got a little bitty? And a... No. Okay, we'll leave that one because I know where that goes in the end. <laughs> about the late about the lady in the city with yeah. <laughs> yeah so hopefully by the end of the live we will have two complete games there we go ish ish Gerard says Colin Ghost Warrior is better if they played both I've never heard of Ghost Warrior I don't think Jen's got that one. So start thinking about colours, guys. We've got green marbles. We have blue marbles. Uh, we've got a few white. 
Well, you can just stop right there. You said blue. Why did you have to go and say blue? Oh, we've got some like gunmetally weird colours. I'll show you in a minute. And a partridge in a pear in tree. A pear tree. Or the good old traditional <laughs> ones with the funny bits in the middle. But me being OCD, I've colour separated them. Hodgepodge says he doesn't want blue balls. No, not many people do. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then I'm just going to run the brush over it again just to make sure we've got the wax out the bottom. There's, there is a little suggestion on um, on solitaire boards, Scott, that I saw actually. <coughs> I, I think it was an Instagram post. Yeah. Somebody had swapped out their marbles for M and M's because you can just Ooh. eat them when you take them off. You should have <laughs> said that, mate. I haven't got any M and M's. Right. <laughs> Bear with me while I do the commando crawl back under this rig. Uh oh, Scott's going commando. <laughs> But you never thought you'd hear that on a live tonight. <laughs> Should we play, play the music? Dun, 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 they're probably about four mil deep. Um, so we have green marbles, blue marbles. Oh, blue! He said blue. These gun metally, purpley, browny. Oh, actually, they're nice. Whatever color. Yeah. Or oh, we've Very got a nice. few white. What do people want to see on there? I say blue. <coughs> just for the, the sheer um, joke of it. Yeah, I'm going for the blue as well. Yeah, you can't beat blue balls. <laughs> it hurts. Everyone's asking, um, could you use a small handheld router? Um, yeah. The, the the small ones for trimming? You yeah, could. Palm it, router, it would, yeah, yeah, like the, yeah, palm router. It'd be um, trying to set it up properly where you want to do the, the routing. Though. Yeah, especially as this one's got a little lip here. So you're not yeah. going to get flush right there. I guess if you have a piece of wood the same thickness as a, a yeah 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 round the um, so, just yeah. hot glue it to the base or something I suppose. Basically, so set what, uh, what colours? Wood one Paul's just come in. Good evening, Paul. Hi, we're Paul. Hello, Paul. Paul. John Any suggestions on colours yet? Yeah, blue. Go with the blue. Yeah, Ruben said the the purpley blue gunmetally ones. <laughs> oh, Brian's in. Good evening, Brian. Oh yeah, Brian. Hello, Raspberry. Hi. So we're gonna go with these ones, then. Hi, Brian or Terry or Brian or whichever one it is today. <laughs> Mildred. <laughs> They are actually quite nice. I like them. Yeah. Yeah, they're all different. They're almost they're blue. Browny, bluey, purpley, yeah, whatever colour. They actually go quite well with the wood, don't they? They do. It's a nice contrast. Do indeed. Do indeed. And if I'm correct, you leave the middle one empty, don't you? Yeah. You do. I've never played solitaire. So me neither. Not, me. not that kind, anyway. So well, you, you, you should, you, you, you should, you should be, you should, you should be able to play it quite well, Scott. Not having any friends. <laughs> just, just, just remember, Scott. Solitaire is a game you play alone. So basically, you'd be playing with yourself. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All this bullion I get. Hiya, Rex B. How you doing? <clears throat> Good evening, Rex. Hello, Rex. He's in a doctor's office. How do you feel better, mate? Soon. Oh, I hope it's nothing serious, Rex. He is the doctor. <laughs> well, there we go. There's that one finished. Looks good, mate. Nice one. Good. Nice. Let's pop that to the side, like Blue Peter. 
Don't Take it back now, yo. Because we've got one over here already prepared. No, you use your double sided sticky tape, but if you're at home, you can use glue. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dave, um, your, your, your good mate, Dave, has turned <laughs> yeah. around and said, he needs to rename Scott Billy No Mates. <laughs> 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 oh dear. Mr. Mew, me and you are going to have words. <laughs> I'm starting to like Dave. Uh, Wood, Woodward and Paul has just said, Jigsy, I don't know whether you've seen it. <laughs> Jigsy, fancy a me to Axminster. I'm glad you didn't ask me because I'm, I'm banned from Axminster. <laughs> Every right. time I go, I go, I want that, I want that, I want that. <laughs> Oh, yeah, do you I'm live next to Skimborn then? I want that one. Yeah. I want that one. <laughs> you sure that know? one's a bit more okay, spray no. paint. So this one's a bit like Solitaire. Um, this, I got the idea of my wife saw it on Facebook or somewhere like that. So you have these little figures. Um, here's some I made earlier. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Um, and then these get a colour on the bottom of them <clears throat> and the idea is you get a dice where's one of them um, and you put your coloured spot on the dice um, and then whatever colour is what you've got to find if you don't find that colour you lose a go or something um, so again this is another game for indoors I've pre-cut all the dowels. Now, I don't want to damage um, the tops of these by knocking it on the hardwood. So what I have got is a rubber doorstop. I said, this is just six mil dowel. Did you say a rubber, Billy? No, rubber, Johnny. So Paul lives in Dimchurch. All oh, right, yeah, ah, yeah, by the railway. How are we doing on time? Because Rich is live at nine, isn't he? So we won't get the colour on the pegs tonight, but we'll get it done. So <coughs> all the are in there. Well, it's only two minutes past eight, mate. So you're not doing bad. Yeah, plenty of time. It's been live thirty-two. Cool. That was my demo one. <coughs> Remember, guys, I'm back live again tomorrow. I know you get sick of us, but I'm back anyway. You're joking, man. You're joking. I'm not joking. <laughs> I'm not joking at all. He's on a J-Ralph. So if you are in... I've got a quick question, Scott, before we go any further. Yes, mate. Did, did you watch that uh, that video that we recommended to you? No, I haven't yet. Oh, come on. I really <coughs> wanted to see if you thought it was you as well. It probably is, mate. <laughs> I told you, I get Tourette's when I drive an ambulance. <laughs> Don't get road rage. <laughs> This is a bit like watching sand, isn't it? What do you mean? Oh, <laughs> Robert's saying he can't wait to find out the right way to power sand. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I must have said something in Kirstie's live last night. <laughs> it's so much quicker power sanding. Yeah, but just remember the star of the show is drilling. This is Drilly's adopted brother twice removed, I've got. Ah, well, I've got Drilly's midget cousin. I've got a funny feeling I ain't got enough of these. Just think, if these were little men, this would be like an ambulance driver's way of putting in a uh, suppository. <laughs> <laughs> These are men. 
Wood Wizardry, Wood Wizardry by Colin. Um, is, oh, oh, hang on. Peter Corcoran said uh, Kirsty was brilliant last night. And Wood Wizardry by Colin said love the colours. Um, and Paula said wasn't Kirsty great last night. I thoroughly enjoyed it and I loved the the colouring she was doing along with yeah. the, the pyro as well. Yeah, I've heard that. Uh, I've heard good things, so I need to go back and watch it. Yeah, I need that's to watch the, it. I missed that's it last the first, month. That's the first time I've seen anybody put paint over the top of wax and it worked and it was brilliant. It rendered them out. How this hammer's still alive, I don't know. Is there 40 new heads and three new handles? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, it's just like glue and splintering. And... I love it, a stinky little hammer. <laughs> Get a medal for that. Uh, Robert said he uh, he definitely wants to try the the pyro and we should try and get her on the virtual crafty sometime. I think that already might be in hand for further down the line to tell you the truth. Yeah, yeah, after what I've heard, yeah, sounds like a plan. If anyone has got any suggestions for upcoming craft festivals, just feel free to email me or message me on Facebook or Instagram or wherever. Um, or Dale. And we'll get it sorted. And Wood Wizardry by Colin is suggesting that she needs invading too. Or if uh, or if you in your, yourself would like to be on the festival, be sure to let us know as well. Um, Peter's asking me if I joined the Zoom last night. No, I didn't join the Q&A last night, Peter. Um, I was busy chatting to other folk at that point. Scott? Yes, mate. Right, John and Rach. Right. I've got a few more. Got right, that, John. Um, Kirsty doesn't have a YouTube channel at the moment. Um, she is on... Um, she is on Instagram, and I think it's Kirsty Dalton Designs on Instagram. I think that's what it is. But she doesn't have a YouTube channel. Yeah, Brian's uh, agreeing with me. She was nervous at the beginning, but the talent shone, shone through. Yep. You know, just because I'm using these ones doesn't mean you can't turn your own. Um, if I'd had more time, that's what I would have done. I don't know why. For some reason, I always thought it was different colours in the corner in each corner. So this is the game. This game, you roll the dice. It will have a colour on it, and then the idea is you pick it out. If that pegs that colour, then you keep the piece. If not, you miss your go. Put the bit back in. All oh, right. Okay. No. That one's just split. Marvellous. As Creation Metal Work says, use but jelly babies. You could use jelly babies. That's but you know what colour they are then. And then you, then you could eat them afterwards. Spray paint them black. Not if you spray paint them black. Yeah, not if you pop one of them suppositories in a right. No. <laughs> spray <laughs> jelly Wait, babies Keith's, black. Keith's just put a link into Kirsty's Facebook page. No, cool. it's from Keith. Cheers, oh. Keith. Uh, if anyone so else has got any Jojo links. Jojo has just come in. Hi, Jojo. Hi, yeah. Hello. Oh, this hammer's dying. Oh, no, it's loose. Um, yeah, if you guys have got any links you want to pop in, feel free to do so. Um, there is a link if you're enjoying what you're doing at the top. Um, to my buy me a coffee. Oh, yeah, I meant, meant to mention that. Sorry, Scott. No, that's all right, mate. Um, that will be going to buy a new webcams. So I don't, I don't have to move my mobile phone around. Jigsy, door 60's just mate. come in. Hiya, yeah, Juicy's having to go and door's just come in. 
to you later, Jigsy. Hi, Jigsy. Well, I've got a, a couple more cameras to get set up at some point. I've only got six on the go at the moment. Well, I've got... What have I got in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got eight on the go at the moment, but I took some down so I could practice with this rig for the IRD. And then went... Uh, that's going to be hassle, just keep moving them. So. Right, Rex B is at the doctor's for getting all the stuff. And he's saying good evening to everybody. How are you doing? <clears throat> See, I don't bother going to the doctors for getting all this stuff. That makes me feel old. So I'm, I just don't bother. I, I don't like going to the doctors because every time you go in there, it's full of ill people. Yeah, it's the same with hospital. Worst place to yeah. be if you're ill is hospital. You tend to, <laughs> yeah. you tend to catch stuff. Yeah, you feel a lot worse when it's stuff. Oh, look at all these ill people around me. I don't want to be with them. <laughs> oh, dear. And they've all got holes through. So this one here, this middle hole's not needed. Um, it's there so, purely for decoration. Yeah. So I think we need to put something in there. Now, do we put a finial in there, or do we put a little cup in there for dice? What do people think? Or you could put a handle in there to lift it up with, like a bit yeah, like leg stand type things. Yeah, a bit like. He's only got a got something. I can hear him rustling. A bit like the yeah. old dolly pegs. Something yeah, like that. Something like, something like that would probably be spot on. Oh, yeah, there you go. Right, let's find a bit of wood and we'll, uh, we'll make something. What we got? That's ash. Mm. What we got that we can use as contrast? Gerard we've got to do said a bit a of the dice. Alive, haven't we? Yeah, could do a cup for the dice. What do people think? Yeah, that sounds like a yeah. plan. Right. I'm coming back through. Got to do a bit of turning, haven't we? It won't take that long. It'd be like an egg cup, wouldn't it? Let me just grab a bit of wood. Uh, what can we use? Okay, Peter's Corcoran and went for a blood test on Tuesday and he got a text a text today saying that he's pre diabetes. No oh, uh, look cool. look after those blood sugars, Peter. Yeah. yeah. Pete, you gotta lay off the jelly babies, mate. No all about that. Wood turning by Barry says A cup. Are we still talking about that, or are we, you know, on about sizes now? Yeah, Roberts, uh, Roberts had a brilliant idea. Make a shot glass, Scott. That way you can make a drinking game out of it. Oof, I like that idea. Yeah, there you go. In which case, that bit of wood that I just got out would do. And then he adds directly below it, so you're not so lonely playing solitaire. <laughs> 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 Right. Real like a pig, oh. At the moment, Scott is using his bandsaw. <laughs> not now, I'm not. <laughs> well, no, he's not. I can't remember. This is a bit of wood that Keith gave me last week. I can't remember whether he said it was Paduke or... Let's have a look. A binger. Scott, did you just say Keith gave you wood? Yeah. Oh, my life. I always get wood when I go to Keith's. <laughs> Can I get away without putting a tenant on it? Oh. Are you seeing on uh, Scott? Are you seeing this camera? Are you changing? Uh, I'll 
change to the lathe cam. Cheers for reminding me, Wayne. Uh, lathe cam. Is it that one? Oh, Pete's in. Evening, Pete. Hiya, Pete. Hiya, Pete. Which one's the lathe? He's asking you, Scott, did you forget you were on tonight? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's all I've been doing most of the day. Okie dokes. There we go. We want a tool rest. That'll help. That looks more like a uh, padok than it does Bubinga, to tell you the truth. Yeah. Yeah, I'd agree with that. So we're going for a shot glass then. Sort of shape. Right. Gerard's asking me. Um, he's got a piece of sycamore and one side is very spalted. It crumbles under, under the finger. Good for the fire. Um, that's... That particular part of it is too far gone. If you can actually crumble that and pull bits off it, it's too far gone. Could you not stabilise it? You could stabilise it if you've got a, um, a vacuum chamber, a vacuum pump, uh, and cactus juice, you could stabilise it. That would work. Because you, uh, you could put different uh, dyes in the uh, cactus juice and colour it yes, in colour. Yeah, yeah, you can. That that works well as well. Um, depending on how big it is as well, um, you can actually put just leave it in cactus juice for about a month or so and just let it soak in. I've seen that done before. Yeah. So you, you don't actually need a, a vacuum chamber. Is it, uh, Heath Knuckles was the first person I saw do that. So you just you let it soak in it? Yeah, you just let it soak, yeah. Can you stop yeah, on the other second, Scott? It's got to be about, uh, got to be over a month, though, of soaking. Now it it's looking more like you can get. It's not Sapili. It's looking more like no. Bubinga now. There's too much grain for Sapili. <clears throat> One day I'll listen when Keith tells me. Well, he's in. He should be able to tell us anyway. Uh, Gerard's saying, what about using lots of run seal wood hardener? Yeah, you could do that as well and give it a go. See how, see how, if it works or not. Or you could turn it into shavings and glue it back together using 15% discount off at Starbond using JP. <laughs> Shameless plug there. <laughs> no. So remember, when you're moving your tool rest, you should stop the lathe. Um, but this is me. And Robert's saying the good thing with cactus juice is, is that it's reusable for the liquid that doesn't soak in. Can you get cactus juice over here? Yeah, you yeah. buy uh, house of resin. House of yeah, resin. house of resin do it, yeah. They do, they do vacuum. Uh, oh. Go on, mate. They do the, the vacuum chambers and vacuum pumps and everything. Yeah. I've, uh, I've, heard, I've heard it on um, good authority that the ones that they use down at House of Resin aren't good for st um, stabilising. Well, All not right. that good for stabilising because you want one that's got a... Um, I think I can't remember, Jake said he needs one with the glasses. So you want one that's got the the uh, the metal bits. That, I can't think of what it's called. The gauges and all that sort of stuff actually on the metal, as opposed to in the uh, the plastic or the perspex on top. You want the glass. Oh, right. You want one with a glass. You want with a glass top, and you yeah. want the actual uh, fittings going into the actual pot, right, rather than the actual you. top. Rather than the top. You, you, yeah, you can get them on. Uh, you can get them on Amazon, and they're quite cheap as well. And they're a lot bigger. The ones that they sell at House of Resin are quite thin, so you can't, you wouldn't be able to get, say, a bowl blank in there, for example. Yeah, right. A couple of things here from in, in the chat. Um, Paul got a great result yesterday. He can get as much sweet chestnut as he wants. Nice one. Nice. And Wood Wizardry awesome. by Colin is asking, "What is cactus juice? What cactus juice is, Colin? It's a type of resin." that when you put a piece of wood with the cactus juice in a vacuum, it pulls out all of the air out of the wood 
and impregnate the resin in there. It's the total opposite of um, using a pressure pot. Yeah, and then uh, then what you do is you bake it, and then it cures with the heat from the oven. Wrap it up in silver foil. Once it's been in the, the vacuum chamber, wrap it up in silver foil, stick it in a, a low heat oven for a while. I don't know exactly what, because it, it's not something that I tend to do, but uh, you bake it, and that way that cures the resin within the wood. So the, the wood becomes very, very hard. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to plug him, but I'm gonna have to plug Jake Thompson. Uh, if you anyone wants to know anything about resin, Jake's got an incredible video, and he he kind of does it in layman terms. Put his link in, well. Jamie. Oh, do I have to? Well, you started talking about him. <laughs> so Jake will also be on the Virtual Craft Festival, um, and he also does a giveaway of pen blanks as well over on Instagram. Usually once a month he does that, doesn't he? Is it every week? week. He does it once a week. Once a week. week. Yeah, and it's a worldwide giveaway as well. And he's also one of my uh, co-hosts on the podcast as well. And if anybody hasn't met the guy, he's awesome. Yeah. There you go. His link's in the chat. What does he specialise in again? What does he do? Sorry, mate. What does Jake specialise in again? <laughs> resin. Resin casting and resin casting accessories. <laughs> I love it. <clears throat> he's, uh, he's got... Uh, when Jake does do um, his uh, resin casting, he, he, he does... Uh, he don't do normal, normal stuff. He's done things like uh, Wolverine sitting on the toilet, uh, Deadpool in the shape of a bullet laying down, yeah, surrounded by uh, casings in that one, isn't it, as well, if I remember. Yeah. Um, he's done uh, a money river table. A money yeah, that bowl. was cool. He got, like, stick well. for that, didn't he? Yeah, he got people wanting to lynch him for that one. But, yeah, he does some great stuff. Gonna be a big shot. My time of drinking. So, uh, like I just said, he's also a uh, my co-host for the podcast. So, I'm gonna put a link to the podcast in there as yes, well. Mate. Um, last week we spoke about Make a Revolution and we had James Wright from Wood by Wright on there. Uh, this Sunday we've got a topic called All the Gear, No Idea. So uh, That'll be me. That, that'd be a good one. I think they're visiting my workshop then. So, <laughs> yep. yeah. That, that'd, be, that'd be an interesting one. <clears throat> yeah, that'll be me. All the gear, no idea. I think Robert Hodgepodge is uh, referring to Jake here and saying it's amazing what he can, what he can accomplish in that small shop of his. <laughs> yeah, it's only little, isn't it? I know, right? It's probably bigger than the square footage of my house and my works put together. He's in the process of building a resin room as well, which is bigger than my workshop. Inside of it. And that's, like anything that's bigger than inside, yeah, that, That's inside of his workshop, yeah. <laughs> What, what some people Jake's workshop, a, um... right, Jake's workshop actually covers two zip codes. Yeah. <laughs> what some people don't realise is he's actually got more than one of them. Yes, I know. He's got two air, airplane hangers in his backyard. Jamie, see if he'll ship one over to you. Yeah. <laughs> if only it were that easy. Yeah. So the, the the one that he's in now is uh, Jake used to be a mechanic and build race cars and race race cars and all that kind of stuff. That's the reason for the big workshop. <laughs> um, he used to have two uh, car lifts in there years ago. 
Uh, he, he's not a, not some big Texas oil man or anything like that. Mind you, he's only what five foot nothing, so it'd be a little Texas oil man, if anything. Okay. Hi, Jack. How you doing, mate? Yeah, he's he, he's just a <laughs> everyday working guy. Yeah. yeah. Really nice lad. He's uh he's just gone full time YouTube now as well. So go and go and support Jake and. Uh, Tell him that all of us got sent here. Well, as well as YouTube, uh, Jake does do Instagram. That's where he tends to do a lot, put a lot of his stuff. And that's where he tends to do his weekly giveaways as well, is on his Instagram channel. Yeah. Any ideas what you're turning tomorrow, Wayne? Yes. No. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I did think it was a bit of a silly question, but... That's it. Cover all the bases, Wayne. I like it. I like it. <laughs> oh, no. Hold on. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I have got something in mind. Um and using the the Simon Hall Pollowing jig, so I think my, I, I may get that out tomorrow, but it will not be one that gets finished actually on the live tomorrow. But you will be able to see the the Halloween jig getting used. Is that the laser one, Wayne? Yeah, uh, yeah, I've got the laser one. I don't have the camera one. It's just um. Still room for more alcohol in there. Like it. Whose idea was this? Uh, no idea, I, don't, I don't remember. <laughs> now you get lots of things on Facebook asking about how to finish these types of things that are going to take alcohol. One of the best finishes you can get out there is um, Rustin's Plastic Coat. Because it's, uh, I believe Rustin's Plastic Coat is alcohol resist resistant. Yeah, because the last thing you want to do is just put the alcohol straight in there. And yeah. then the wood starts drinking it for you. Yeah, see, the thing is, if, if you go back to way, way, way back when, before yeah. people had glass and they were just using wood. You mean um, when you wood burning, Wayne? Yeah, basically, aye. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> when Wayne was a boy. <laughs> An hour, a lad. <laughs> but yeah, they wouldn't have had finishes on them then, I'm presuming. <clears throat> so Douglas is asking, would you bring it to be able to be used? I'm, I'm, I'm taking that he's meaning... That alcohol. I don't see any reason why not. If you are doing now, I, I did a load of wine glasses uh, for a, um, a medieval style um, wedding. I think I did seventy-five wine glasses out of ash, and I just finished those with tongue oil. Uh, they, they actually gave out the wine glasses as favours uh, at the wedding and used them for wine just with, with tongue oil. And if anybody has never um, had a drink out of a wooden vessel, it's weird. Got a nubbin nub in the bottom. Uh, <coughs> Scraper. That'll do.
You see, the thing is, if you don't want to use that actually as a shot glass and turn into a, a drinking game, you could use it as the die shaker. Yeah. Oof. Let's give it a sandy, sandy. Right, that's you being going for just on an hour, Scott. Cool. So what I'll do is I'll finish this. Um... You can see the idea of this one. I just need to uh, wait for the spray paint to draw on the other figures. Um, but we'll get this finished. We'll get this in there. And then we will call it. Um, can someone put the link in for Rich's Invade, please? Uh, yep. And Robert said, did you make sure it holds exactly 1.5 hours? Uh, ounces. No. Don't want anybody no. to get too intoxicated. When I go drinking, I don't normally use a shot glass. I just use the bottle. I love the colouring on this wood. Yeah, it's nice. Bubinger is very nice because it's definitely not Paduke. Can't be Paduke because the, uh, the whole workshop isn't red. Nah. I reckon Keith's falling asleep. There you go, Rich's uh, links in the chat. Cool, cheers, mate. Um, next week. So I will be live next Thursday night. And what we are going to do... Are you sure? Yes, we are. Yeah? Yeah? Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. And what we're going to do next week is we are going to do uh, my 500 sub giveaway. So we'll turn... The piece next week, whatever we turn, well, I know what we're turning. Um, that piece will then become the giveaway. We'll tell people how they can enter, um, and then we will draw it afterwards. That unfortunately will be a UK only. Um, what? How did you manage to do that? Because the bit of wood is massive. Yeah, but but how how, how are you going to um from people that answer? How are you going to tell actually, them from the UK or not? Oh uh, no, actually, do you know what? We won't, because it's not that heavy the size of it. Time I've hollowed loads of it out, which I don't really want to do because it's such a nice piece. But needs right. Keith, Keith, Keith got called away. He's now back. Right. Is this a PC view binger, Keith? He got it off you last week. That big spindle piece, mate. Hang on. Where's the other bit of it? It used to have a label on there. Yeah, that's what Keith said when he gave it to me. It used to have a label on there. Right, let's... Uh... All right, you're seeing the stop you, Bingo. What is it then? Wood. Looks like wood to me, Wayne. What do you reckon? Yeah, it looks a bit like wood to me. Uh, I think that's wood. Yeah, Tree wood. I think it's Greenwood. That's a, that's a slightly better guess than I made. I thought it might have been Bushwood. Keith, oh, he he's passing on that one. Yeah, he's passing on that one because I've lost the label. All the rating got washed off. <laughs> he's probably been sat in his workshop for that long. The label just, like, died. Yeah, that's like a lot of the wood I've got as well, Scott. 
Yeah, that's it, Colin. It's brown stuff. It's more ready colour. Might as well be bog yep. oak. I still reckon it's Bubinger. Hodgepodge yeah, said, yeah. It's because you get colored after he gives you wood, Scott. <laughs> Aye. What we'll do, we'll make this one a... Because uh, I've not got anything to finish it for alcohol. We'll make this one for... Um, for the dice! Oh, I was looking forward to drinking alcohol. You're always yeah. looking forward to drinking. You can't anyway. You work in the Murrah. Hey, I'll be working Saturday, but I'll still be drinking Friday. All right, <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, where did I put the sand? Is <laughs> Oh, I like that. That is definitely that is definitely Bubinga. Or wood. Looks like Sandy Sealer to me. Yeah, you would say that, Jamie though. Hello. <laughs> so that's just chestnuts, uh Alan. Dave just, I didn't know that chestnut did Alan. Trig. <laughs> right, Dave. I've had the same room. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Jane, Jane, uh, sorry, Jane. Jamie actually sent Jane a, um, an Alan Mayer cat. It arrived this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lave, it's slow setting. 1,200. Ah, this is 500. Colin said, as long as uh, Mark stays away from the body. No, let's not spoil it. Let's have fun. <laughs> I'll be more worried if he turns up in the um, the pink tutu. <laughs> <laughs> and then drinks. There we do him. Oh, that's flexing. Yeah. Have faith, young Huey. I've got faith. That's what George Michael said, wasn't it? Because you've got to have faith. Have faith. faith, faith. faith. Have a faith. <laughs> that's what I, I used to faith. play my sister during our exams. Not that she was thick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I say that? I love her really, honest. No, nah, just that she liked George Michael. <laughs> he was careless with his whisper. He had a right shot <laughs> <at> his face. <laughs> I heard he went in to spend a penny and come out with two coppers. Yeah, oh, I heard that as well. <laughs> Here all night. <laughs> you lot really ain't right, says Douglas. <laughs> Well, Lawrence is in. Good evening, Lawrence. Hi, Lawrence. Hello, Lawrence. Douglas, you don't know the half of it. No, Douglas, <laughs> you really don't know the half of it. Hi, no, Lawrence. How are you, mate? No. No. If this you want to pretty, find out, you this need is to be pretty going... tame. Yeah, this is pretty yeah. tame, this is. If you want to find out, you need to be uh, putting the 17th of July in your diaries. Because Dan at Taylor's Murfield is having an open day. And in the evening, um, because obviously Makers is a bit funny this year, um, he is organising a drinking session. Because um, he wants to make it like the Hilton would be on a Saturday evening. I put it in your diary. Apparently there's lots I'm, of... Is that why I've been banned, Scott? No, mate, come <laughs> My missus said, is it a day thing? A day thing driving to Yorkshire? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> right, so that's now come off clean. So Yorkshire Grit's done its job. Um, so we will do this with microcrystalline, as it's here. And then rather than drill a hole in the bottom to put a 6 mil dowel in, we'll just turn... The spigot on the bottom down to six mil. Right, 
and hopefully get it done in the next 10 minutes because I want to give you guys 10 minutes to use facilities and get ready to go over to Rich because he's got someone new again this week. Yeah. That's kind of really nice. I love that bit of wood. Didn't know it popped once the sealer got put on it. Yeah. And a bit of flex in there now. That looks about six mil. Uh, where's my Japanese saw? Oh, you are. Your Japanese saw? Yeah. Oh, I don't trust myself to... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Cut that off. Right, let's play. Um, oh, I've got to go sliding through the shavings now. I think I put the, uh, Scott getting back up off the floor is more Mission Impossible. I should have put the yeah. workshop overview on. You like, would have had a right chuckle tonight. Right, let's come back down to the camera down. So, as I've said. I'll finish the, I'll get some more people for it and then I'll put the pictures on Insta and Facebook and stuff like that. One dice cup. Um, the dice you can either, these I got off eBay. I think I got a pack of 10 for like a pound. They look um, like marshmallows. Mm. So you can just put your coloured dot on there. My intention is what I've done is I've just got um I think this is one from Keith Barrow, or Keith at fifty four A. He's Pen Blank Centre. Um so I've just using the route a bit, put some little divots in. Um and I'm gonna put coloured resin in them. Um that will live in there. Let's see if I can get both on. Get both in there. Yeah, so just about. I'll tell you what. I'll pick them up and uh, let's come back to the ugly cam. So there's the first solitaire board. Nice marbles and a piece of ash. Um, and then you've got the elm with the babinga. I think that's quite nice and contrasting that. Um, yeah. with the little figures. Yeah, that's good. Nice one, Scott. Yeah. There we go. Sorry it's been a bit bitty, guys, and a bit... Let's bring the other guys back on screen. Chuck's hiding. No! <laughs> oh my days. See, simply we're going to have fun. I've got to say, I had a preview of um, Shug doing this last night. <laughs> <laughs> and I, ne I nearly ended myself last night as well. Look at them hairy hands. Don't let anybody say he's got hairy arms when he's on his video, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing, Jenna? Oh, there we go, guys. 
Oh, <laughs> hang on. I'm going cl- I'm going uh, under again. Dun, 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 dun. I knew I forgot to bring it back over. So as I said, oh. next week will be 500 giveaway. He's getting into that, look. He's really enjoying that, look. We'll Plus have to be <laughs> Everybody be surfing, surfing USA. So, <laughs> there's the lump of we're going to turn next week for the 500 giveaway. Um, it's a piece of wood from Papua New Guinea. Um, Keith and I have been quite fortunate to be given some of this. It's on the CITES list as well, so you can't even buy this now. Um Ooh. But I'll show you the pictures next week of where it's come from and the I'll try and put that in so we can get that into the live. But thank you everyone for coming in. Um I hope you've enjoyed <laughs> 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 Just looking at Chuggy that whoopee cushion. <laughs> whoopee <laughs> Right. Don't forget he looks like, he looks like Dr. Robotnik, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody expects uh, the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> Don't forget, guys and girls, Rich is on at nine o'clock with an invade. Um, head over, and uh, I can't remember what he said the guy's name was. Um, Essential. Uh, hang on, if I can get my hand on this mouse. Essential <laughs> handyman, was it? Uh, it's yeah, a, essential, essential handyman. handyman. Yeah. There we go. Right. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for coming. Or, uh, I'll put the link in the chat again. Yeah, put the link in the chat, and then we're, we're going to call it a night. I don't know how werewolves do that with uh, with hands like these. <laughs> do you know what? When I started this live, I was like, mm, I really can't be bothered. You guys have cheered me up. <laughs> everyone in the chat that's come in, you know, we've had a laugh. Yeah, right. <laughs> Chuck. Ah, well done, well done, mate. <laughs> right, it's good night from me. It's good night from them. <laughs> Till next week. Goodbye. Catch you all later. Night. See you.